Good evening and thanks for joining us for the news at 10 on this Thanksgiving Eve. I'm Karina Corral and I'm Dan Shadwell. Good evening to you. Well, apparently quite the crowds out there today picking up last minute groceries for Thanksgiving. A real madhouse apparently. KSBY News reporter Fabiola Ramirez went to several stores today to check it out herself. She joins us now live and uh, Fabi, how was it? What do you think? Dan, it was busy and right now it's actually calmed down, but there's still every so often shoppers coming. Down. I mean, look at the line of carts out here that can explain a little bit of how busy it was today and shoppers I spoke to called it chaotic. It's the rush before the family feast came here for extra eggs to make deviled eggs. Whether it was to purchase a few final items or tackle a long grocery list, people packed the aisles of local grocery stores. Costco is super slammed. It was a little crowded, hectic, but got it done. What some thought would be a quick trip turned into an hour long visit. I get that this happens every year and this is a thing, but by the end of this thing, just with all the family and all the stress and everything, I'm just ex I'm just exhausted. The chaos it didn't keep people from picking up their essentials. Many shoppers say they begin cooking the day before Thanksgiving. I usually cook some things the night before because I know everybody else will be in the kitchen with the turkey and the hullabaloo. I'm fixing up the, um, the dressing and um, some cranberry uh, salsa. Parking lots and shopping carts were still filling up late Wednesday with procrastinators keeping their eyes on the prize. Kick back football, relax. Um, yeah, do the whole make soup, with the chicken carcass and staying out with the family. This time around Thanksgiving is the busiest for grocery stores and staffers I spoke to say they try to make sure that everything runs smoothly and keep those lines going so that people can be quickly in and out. Live and local in San Luis Obispo, I'm Fabiola Ramirez, KSBY News. Yeah, you got to maintain your patience out there. Thank you for that, Fabi. And by the way, some grocery stores, Food for Less, Vons and Whole Foods will be open tomorrow, at least in San Luis Obispo, but they'll be closing 